There we go. There you go. My swirl filters. Basically what I got here is your five gallon bucket. Got water swirling in it. As far as going into it, I just use a plain old PVC fitting. But as you know, they don't go all the way down. So what I do, cut off some of this, make a spacer out of it. Works just fine. I make my own gaskets. Just a sheet gasket. I cut it out of circle. Leave it a square, it's alright. Basically just stick it down there. Take this. Stick it on there, draw a circle around it, cut it out, cut it around the outside, so you got enough to cover your lip. Put your spacer in, put your gasket on, good to go. A whole lot cheaper than buying gaskets and buying all this funky stuff that's in there. And on top of that, I'll do something like that in there. I got this coupler in there to make the height of that filter you see in there. So you figure out how high you want the water at a minimum. Then you cut this to fit with one of these goes right over the top. Then you make sure, like that, that you got enough over the top. I mean, this gets dirty. It's gonna do it in a day. <laughs> Won't last long, but it is cleaning fine particles out. That's crazy. So anyway, that's that. That's what's inside there. What that is is that micron filter, marine land, find them at your local fish store, get them online. They're not real cheap. I keep, I have three of them right now. Is it one time, one is in there. One is out here air drying to get the core up, the bleach out of it. And the other one is sitting in bleach. They're real easy to deal with. I just got this little pitcher. You put three parts water, one part bleach. So the smaller you got around it, the less bleach you're going to use. Cheaper. Now these work great. They go clean your water up. But, as I said, it can be dirty in one day. So putting bleach, using bleach every day can get kind of expensive. But hey, you do it once in a while. That one's been in there running two days over the top. It's still pulling stuff out. Here's how you go about changing one out. Just like that. That's a lot of stuff. And all you do is take this, rinse it off with water, get all the loose stuff off. Put it in your bleach water for 24 hours. Take it out of the bleach water, let it rinse it off real good. 
then let it sit and air dry for 24 hours and you can do what I just did. Okay, now I kind of done this one time and dumped water all over my leg. So we're gonna see how it works now that I've got still changed around a little bit. Anyway, here's how I'm hoping we get rid of the junk in the bottom of the five gallon drum, the bucket. About the only place I have any glue in here for PVC is right there. And, no, nope, that's about it, right there. So what we're going to try to do here is get all that junk out of that bucket. There we go. Take that out. Now we got a bypass. Let water keep draining out down here a little bit. That's about it. That's how high that is. So we're going to take that and get it out of the way. That's supposedly. We're going to do this right here. Take this. And you dump it in there, that's clean enough. Good enough for me. Get the flashlight on. All done. We got about two and a half, three gallons of water wasted. Go put it on a plant, then it won't be wasted. I think that's about it. That's a nice swirl filter. How do I have that? Do something like that. How do you want to do that? Sure, why not? It worked. Awesome. Later.